in the field of uh, cultural heritage, um, we perform uh, in the different places we have done the work, uh, oil paintings in churches from the medieval times, or uh, here also in uh, Pompeii and Pompeii, we are, uh, this is our uh, five year. Uh, we started coming here in 2010. More or less the methodology is the same. We are using uh, elemental analysis to perform the characterization of which elements are in our samples. Um, we perform molecular analysis to identify which kind of compounds we have and uh, getting together all the information uh, we establish in which kind of conservation state are the uh, cultural heritage assets we are analyzing for. We are using two portable Roman instruments to detect pigments. In this case we can see in this fresco uh, pink pigments. These type of pigments are the difficult to detect by direct Raman so that with these two portable instruments with uh, green and red lasers, it says technique can be applied to detect these difficult pigments. Here it's really important to analyze the materials both with molecular and elemental techniques. So in our case we are using uh, Raman spectroscopy for the uh, molecular point of view and the mole uh, molecular analysis are implemented by uh, the use of LIBS instrumentation. Other example of the combination of different techniques, for example, is in this part, as we can see, uh, the original pigment was green and during the time transfer to, to yellow pigment. So in this case, thanks to the, for example, uh, metal composition uh, uh, using leaves, uh, we can see that in the green pigments uh, there were, for example, copper and nickel elemental concentrations, and uh, for example, in the yellow in the yellow parts, the, there are a lack of these elements. So, uh, Pompeii is a great uh, place to to investigate and to know uh, things, different things, uh, but also it's a unique place to know uh, how pigments. Uh, can transform it, can change with the with the temperature, with the uh, strain atmospheres. But actually, the sampling is really difficult. It's, uh, it's almost uh, impossible because of the great value of this uh, of this cultural uh, site. In this house, we have uh, many different paintings, uh, and one of them are uh, imitating uh, stones or marbles. But with the Raman spectroscopy, we can differentiate between uh, a wall painting and a stone. For example, uh, in this place, we have uh, one example of these paintings, and uh, thanks to the Raman, we can identify the pigments, and for that reason, discriminate between uh, stone, marbles, or paintings. Here uh, in Pompeii, we are using a lot of the lips instrumentation, because he allows us to analyze, the, to realize the the deep profiling uh, analysis. In this way, we can go, we can cross the outer layer. It means the painting layer where that was most most affected by the volcanic materials. So we can analyze the not affected uh, elements and try to figure out which kind of uh, pigments and uh, mortars were used by the artists 2,000 years ago. For that reason, the portable equipments are really important for us because they give us the opportunity to come here and uh, study the pigments in the in situ and uh, to come to this amazing place and uh, understand uh, the chemistry behind the pigments. So we can have really good results without any sampling and this is really important in the, in the field of cultural heritage and furthermore in the Pompeii archaeological site. <laughs>